Hey and welcome back. Last time I add the plier movement. If you didn't saw the video, just check the card on the top right, right corner. Uh, this time I will focus on the score system in the Unity and C sharp. So like we had on the plier movement, we had the capsule collide and rigid body. If you didn't saw it, don't forget to check the previous video and anyway I will show you on the hat how to add the collider if you don't see the pickable for me is that hat you need to change the order in the layer so we need to add some collider and because it's 2D you need to change the collider 2D of course you can size it if you want, I will just leave it like this and don't forget to check check it on trigger. Let's make some script and just simple call that one hat. Now we need to attach that script to the hat and open it. I will don't need that update and start because we are working on the collider collision when it's triggered. So we need to write private void on trigger enter 2D. No, it just make me doublet the private void, so I need to delay that. And it's gonna be called whenever it's get in contact with the other collider so what we're gonna need is add some score whenever it's collide with the other collider and we'll need to destroy this object okay so let's save that so before we can do that so let's make some score system so create empty object and i will just call it score manager and I will reset it position and we need to now create script I will give it the same name now we need to of course add the script to the object and open it so what we're gonna need here we're gonna need some text to hold our score so I will make serialize field. You can make it public if you want. I prefer use the serialize and text and I will call it score text. Not text alignment, just text. Okay. And you see the uh, script give us some a mistake that text is not recognized it's because you need to use unity engine ui you need to always add that on the top if you're gonna work with the text and another thing we need we need to something to keep our score so we'll be int and keep it like hat score well, maybe not keep it just give the name and now we need to change that score text from the string to the int. So we need to write score text text. It's equal or int. So it's gonna be a hot score and change it to string. And I have we mistake because can't be null. It must be zero for start. Or maybe not must, we can put number we want, but usually we wanna start the score from the zero. So now we need to make the function to add hat score. So simple for that, we need to write hat score plus plus. Later on, I will show you how to put the number if you wanna something different than just increase by one. And now we need to call that function in our hat score. So you need to write find object of type and give the name of the script where you have that function 
and you just simply write the function and closed and we need to destroy the object because you don't want to have it all the time so you will just move forward and backward and add the score over and over again so you need to simply des write destroy game object and this is be destroying the object which have that script on it so in this case it will be destroy the hat so it's gonna be reading the score from the score manager and now we need some UI to keep our text so I'll just make UI text if you didn't saw my previous video I will put the card on the top corner so I'll just check it so you can find something about the how to make the simple text UI so we need to remove that and I will check the change the color gonna pick anything you want something to be visible maybe yellow orange something like that and put his position on the middle and I will make the phone bigger so you can see it better and we'll position it on the top Okay, let's play and see. Yeah, it's working. So how this work? It's the player have collider and the hat have the collider. So whenever whenever the player collider touch the hat collider, it's gonna call the function for the add score and destroy the object. And it's gonna be added to our score. If you go to the player setting, if you will have the tags and other things like here, you see, you can tick which collision you wanna detect. So, for example, if how we have the layer or tags with the player, you can pick that the player will collide with the pick cables but not with the other object and like that but this is the simple score system so now let's change from instead of at one point you can just simply write plus equal and the score you want to add so let's make it 10 And you see now instead of one, it at ten to score. Let's make a quick prefab for our P cable. And whenever you move your P cable, in this case hat in there, it's gonna make for us pre prefab, so you can use it over and over again. So I'll just add a couple more hats. And now whenever you collect an of it, it's gonna add more and more score. So this is everything for this video. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. If you're interested, check others videos from my channel. See you next time. Cheers.